We're doing an interview with you, Manuel Hassan. Um, what is your overall reaction to the attacks that was caused by Hamas in, in this weekend in Israel? This spiral of violence that has been going on for a long period of time is something that did not really surprise us. For the simple fact, when a people under occupation for 56 years being attacked, their lands are confiscated, their infrastructure, and the siege over Gaza more than 12 years now, and the indiscriminate killing and the extrajudicial killings of Palestinians in the West Bank, the desecration of the holy religious sites, whether Christian or Islamic, what do you expect the reaction will be? The reaction will be, of course, resisting occupation. As you resisted Nazi Germany and we held you for your position, I think the international could understand, and especially Europe, what Nazi Germany did to you uh, during the Second World War. Uh, it's deja vu in Palestine, but this has been going on for six decades now, and the international community has done nothing to end this occupation where violence will end with it. It's a very serious situation. You're saying that you're not really surprised about it, but does that mean that you actually accept the attacks in the weekend? Nobody accepts violence, but this is a natural reaction by people who have been under siege, by being people who are being killed on daily basis, by confiscating their houses, by putting checkpoints, by not allowing them to travel. People are under pressure cooker. Resistance under international law is acceptable. When you are under occupation, when you are being killed, when you are being uh, ostracized, what do you expect? Why? Why don't you ask a question? Why Israel is killing Palestinians every day? Settlers are like hoodlums, killing indiscriminately. Nobody came and asked the Palestinians, you know, why uh, aren't you... Uh, reacting or whatever. Why is it okay for Israel to do with the Palestinians under the protection of the United States and Europe, politically, militarily, and when the Palestinians react, all of a sudden we become terrorists and not freedom fighters. But just because the conflict has been going on for years, how can you still defend that kind of attack that Hamas has did? Because you necessarily don't have to do that. There is a reaction. It's not only Hamas. They are killing also Palestinians in the West Bank. And there are reaction by PLO uh, uh, militants who react to what the settlers are doing. So it's not a question of Hamas or Fatah. It's a question of the Palestinian people are resisting this occupation and they are paying a heavy price. 508 martyrs so far, 91 are uh, from them are children, 62 are women. We have 2,800 injured. Destruction all over Gaza. Towers are being collided now with the with the bombings. The West Bank is being attacked by F-16s, and and this is natural for Israel to react. But it's not natural for Palestinians to react when all these things are happening on our territory and killing us on everyday basis. And this occupation is legitimized by the international community. Nobody is putting Israel, you know, in the corner telling them, why are you doing this for the last 56 years? But now everybody is concerned about Israel because the Palestinians took this time the initiative to put an end for this atrocious and heinous crimes against the Palestinians. And it's obvious that this conflict has uh, many words, but uh, this is all we are going to do in uh, in the part of uh, live TV on TV2 News. So, uh, Manuel Hassan, thank you for participating. Thank you for coming and thank you for uh, your concern.